Ah. 15th of August, 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. What? Hurry. No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry. I don't think he actually is, though. I... Do I honestly have the tr... Alright. Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Take the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come. That doesn't sound right. Alright. I didn't do anything. Paint the man, cut the lines, paint the man, cut the lines. Please, the man cries. It was just a flashback there. Well, one life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. Mother of God. I guess I have to go out. I don't want to go out. Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Alright then. Well, that was enlightening, I guess. That wasn't there before. Okay, I know I don't pay attention much, but I'm pretty sure that... What? Okay. You're winning, game. You're winning. <laughs> oh, God. All right, now I'm starting to... Starting to get, get, get there. But I really hope it doesn't ever it doesn't cut out the recording anymore. It's awful red in here. What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours. But now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. Red and dark in here. Man, this is this is just craziness. God, I can hear fluttering around. Almost sounds like 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 birds fluttering, but I think I'd probably be lucky if that's what that was. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. I know I need to find three more pieces of the orb, and I've got to find some the toxin extract from the, uh, the mushrooms. God, I can't see. Um, shimmering. All right. Okay, 
in the box. Cool. Um. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, I think I might need that. <laughs> as much as I am prone to stabbing myself on random stuff, I'm gonna need that. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm running low on oil. I better conserve it as much as I can. Let's see. Why is it red in there? Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, let's check this out. Probably an Iron Maiden, I assume. Friggin' bitch! You fucking dead! You I was right! <laughs> uh. Alright. Alright. Oh, you piece of junk. Oh man, alive. Getting dead. Um. No, put the lantern away. We're not going insane in here. I apologize to anybody who can't see. But until I find more oil. I know there's more at the top of the stairs, but, you know, that's way the hell back there and up there. And I'm not going to waste time to go all the way back and come back, so I'll. Bear with me. Oh god, no. Not that, we can. Oh god. I really don't want to deal with that right now. Oh man. Oh god. Alright. I think there's plenty of places to hide if that thing suddenly comes out. I really hope. Maybe I should stop running. That's making an awful lot of noise. Oh. Oh. I've probably missed a million things already. Again, I'll have to excuse the darkness. I don't have that many tinder boxes left either. Well, okay, fine. I'll use some oil. It's still not a whole heck of a lot, though. I'd rather wait until... Yeah, I'm not going to use it here. It's, it's There's just no reason for it. I can see just fine, and if need be, if it's too dark, I'll just brighten it up in post. I haven't needed to so far, but... Rocks, okay, good. Distraction. Serve as a distraction, and this looks... A bit mushroom. It's quite soft. Should be possible to break open. That's gonna be too big. Yep. Always throw a rock at it. Picked up the poison gland with our bare hands, no less. Ah, uh, Daniel's good at chemistry. Um, botany. Cow. Cow? What? Oh, it's just... Alright. Um... There's the orb piece. I don't trust... I don't trust this water. Uh... In the box! Um... Yeah, that was... All right, what? Let's see. So we got the poison gland. We're missing the vitae and the other thing. The trader did not know what to think of the brass bowl as he was forced to enter it. Only when the heat of fire began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh did he realize it was to be his tomb. The screams of pain echoed inside the brass chamber and traveled through the complex instrument, which was the bull's head. Outside, the man could hear the brazen bull below. Bellow. The, outside, the men could hear the brazen bull bellow. Alright. According to my readout, it's still recording, so let's hope for the best on that one. Alrighty, here we go. Help her. Find a way. Who 
are you? Help who? I don't even... Oh man, we only need one more orb piece left. One more orb, two ingredients to help Agrippa. And no, I'm not super optimistic about that whole endeavor. Companion in a survival horror? No, I don't think so. This isn't Resident Evil here. Alright. Or, you know, Silent Hill 4. Granted, he's disembodied, but... Am I supposed to be... I don't think I am. Alright, well... Uh... Still don't know what the string we picked up is going to be used for. Although there is an item further on that I'm starting to... Hmm. Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Oh, Moop. I don't wanna... I don't wanna... Alright. I can't be crouched. I can't be crouched. It takes too long. Make this video twice as long as it needs to be. drums are getting louder. Alright. Alright. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna be A-OK. -okay and it's gonna be perfectly good and safe and nice. In fact, yeah, we're, we're gonna be, we're gonna do this okay. We're gonna be fine. Alright. All right, I'm just kind of mapping this place out a little bit still. All right, now there's the last door. I wonder if I should go check over that one bridge. No, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna waste the time to do it. The wheel is good for keeping your victims still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. Jesus. Man. God, Daniel, I don't know how the hell you convinced you to do all this. God. Convicts or no, man, that's just... That's just messed up. That's one hell of a hammer, too. Alright, there's the orb piece. Let's see what flashbacks this has to tell us. Murderer's limbs were tied to the spokes of the wheel. They turned the wheel slowly, but with intent, so the rope secured around his leg stretched and cracked the bone. He no longer had the strength to scream. The two men looked at each other knowingly, and took a hammer and struck the victim's chest in a final act of mercy. Yeah, mercy, my ass. Okay. 